tell you about the length of an axon, it can be very long. As long as we know. The nerves that are going to be up here, and let's go with my lumbar plexus. Those nerves that are exiting in this lower area, they can be up to three feet or more long for that axon. Top. I'm talking about those fibers are tough. It takes a lot to harm, believe it or not, the nerve fibers. So the nerve cell body is embedded, let's go with saying, closer to my central nervous system. This axon and its terminal end, these are going to be my peripheral nervous system. Kind of cool if you think about it. And it's got this connective tissue wrapping. We're going to say, like I keep saying, they're mixed, meaning they carry information in one direction in, and they're going to carry information from one direction out. You guys remember those terms of afferent and efferent? All right. Afferent, which direction? Moving in? or information coming out. Moving in. So, those are my sensory fibers. Okay? Now, think of your five senses. Alright? Technically six. But anyway, think of those senses. Information has to go in. We get our response, and that has to go out the effort. These are also known as motor fibers, motor nerves. Do you know why they say motor? Make something happen. And that's what motors do. Motors make something happen. So our effort fibers come out. This makes up our mixed nerve. This is applying to the spinal nerve. Okay? We're going to also say that these sensory and motor fibers, they can either be termed somatic. What does that term mean? Soma. Anybody ever been shopping out at Short Pump Mall and gone to Soma? No? Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> well, it's like a shop for women, okay, with all the lingerie type stuff. Therefore, the body. Soma means body. When you hear the term somatic, soma is referring to the body of something. Okay? <laughs> we could say that it's also visceral. These nerves have to deal with information for everything out here 
as well as everything on the inside from the organ. Therefore, the viscera. They can be general. What are I, of the senses that we have? What do we consider the one to be a general sense? Touch. Is that just this? What's touch? Feel something. Your habitat. Things happen. Pressure on your bum as you sit here in the chair. How many of you have recognized a big toe today? Did you recognize that so I mentioned it? Mm-mm. Makes your body bad. All right. I oh, know, yeah, kind of cool, right? Okay. So, the special. Because we're going to get into those. They're going to be special for a reason. What's the special sense of Sight? Smell? Taste? Hearing? Equilibrium. All right. That's all sensory information. That's information that's going to have a receptor that sends information in that we got to get the response from, which is kind of cool. That ganglion. Ah, yes. Ganglion. Nerve, cell, body. All right. Let that let that immediately come to mind when you hear ganglion. Nerve, cell, body. A neurosoma. Nerve, body. Okay? It's outside of the central nervous system, meaning it's not a part. I can't really say that. Outside, if we think about that spinal cord, it's not attaching directly to it. It's just a little bit outside of that spinal cord. We're going to find the nerve fibers coming into and out of. Because what is attached to the nerve cell body? What part of the nerve cell? my axon. Therefore, the axons are my fibers. We can see a great big one in the posterior root ganglion. There are going to be others, okay? But that's one that's very noticeable. There we go. Like I said before, there's 31 pairs. And the cervical region up here, there are eight. And the thoracic, 12, lumbar, 5. Five in the sacral region, one in the coccygeal. That's what you're going to see is those yellow, they usually represent it as yellow, those yellow ropes that are exiting. Now, like we've said, the spinal nerve that we're looking at is going to be made up of that posterior side and the anterior, also dorsal and ventral. Be sure to remember, the dorsal is sensory input, all right? Anterior motor output. Be sure to remember those two. In the makeup, the cauda equina, 
you guys remember how when we were looking at the that that model back there there looks like this great big horse tail of stuff coming out okay therefore it got the term called equina because it looks like a horse tail of these roots uh, of these nerves that were coming out if you look at some of the representations this is usually how we see the spinal nerves represented. Cervical area, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, coccygeal. Some of these areas have some pretty major nerves that are exiting because they're feeding upper and lower extremities, helping to feed the arms and the legs. So we've got these plexi, I'm not sure if you guys remember that from earlier, okay? Got the brachial, the cervical, um, we're going to have the sacral, the coccygeal. Gotta love where this one right here exits, the sciatic nerve. You know, a lot of people can, you know, tell you the weather better from their sciatic nerve than they can listen to the weather man. You know, because why? I said it's very difficult to damage nerves. But from the time you're born, till you get to probably be in the 30s or whatever, okay? What are you doing to your body? I love seeing the walking around and six inch heels and you know and when I was when I had to come to work from another different direction every morning I saw the same woman walking to work in her six inch heels and she was walking like this and I'm thinking why did you do that to yourself yeah hey not my not my you know not my time. Um, but, you know, what, 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 what kind of thing are you doing every, every day? Thank you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You bring that body up. You get to your 30s and 40s and things want to go. Oh. That's from pretty much kind of misuse throughout those years when you're thinking you can't really have any problems, okay? That's why I kind of like, you know, always pay attention to how you're using the body, right? You know, look at, or, you know, look at um, athletic players. I mean, young ages, they, that's a lot of abuse. The body, you know. So these nerves over time can definitely get damaged. And the problem could be like the vertebrae that are being represented here. Vertebrae can actually squeeze closer together. Nerves can get damaged. They can get damaged along the fiber. There's many things that can go wrong. <clears throat> now, when we look at those spinal nerves, Remember how I said they're going to have the ability to help feed the internal organ. Now, when you first look at representation of the spinal nerves, things look rather simple. All right? Not quite the case. Hopefully you've learned at this point nothing simple about the body at all. Now, we're going to see that as these nerves exit the vertebra, we're going to find some branches. Do you guys remember Rhema from part one? Mm -hmm. What was it associated with? 